Hey Ross, where my money makes money. Who's better with finances, men or women? I know a lot of you wanna ask that question because the debate, the argument, okay? It goes on forever in a day. What that does that mean? It continues to go on. Who is better, men or women? And some of you already answered this question. You know what you said to yourself? You said both. Both, right? Is that my answer? It depends on that man, on that woman, right? You didn't think I was gonna say men was better with finances, right? Because we can be really stupid and spend all our money at the bar, spend all of our money on video games, and spend all of our money with gadgets. Because I love gadgets, right? It's just my one of my things. I like nice things. So if I'm not cognizant of my spending habits with a budget, okay, or why not? Why you need a budget, right? That's another budgeting app I put out then I'll be broke. I won't have any money to fall back on. Now women, people like to say that most women are not good with money because they're impulse buyers, right? Here's a new purse, here's some new drapes, here's some new blinds. I gotta go get my nails done, okay? I gotta get my feet done, I wanna face you, I wanna massage, I wanna get my hair done. All of these things that accumulate money each and every month that women get done. So some people say that men are better with money because women only think of new ways how to spend money. That's incorrect because a man who's not good with his finances is just so bad as a woman who's not good with her finance. Now, I don't know the ratio. You may know 10 guys that are horrible with their finances. You know, ladies, you may know 10 guys. Like, oh, women are much better because I know 10 guys who are absolutely horrible with their finances. Then vice versa, a guy may know 10 women who are actually not even conscious about money. They're unconscious about money. Every time money come in, they spend it, right? But the point of the matter is this. Both of us, both of us are good with money and horrible with money. This is the problem that you're gonna run into, whether you're male or female. You know how the Bible said that things are unequally yoked and I'm not throwing religion in there, I'm just using that term, unequally yoked. That means that your financial mindset is here and the other person may be here or your financial understanding or your financial goals. When you meet somebody with different financial goals, you're gonna have issues. You're gonna have problems. You have to find someone like-minded or someone who's willing to follow your lead. Can I get something here? Can I, can you, do you feel me on that? Think about this, right? You have met people, I've met people, we've all met people. When you hear them talking about money, you automatically like, oh, hell no, nah. no, mm-mm. That's because their goals, their ambitions, their dreams are totally different than yours. The only thing you hear them say, I wanna do this, I wanna do this, I wanna do this, I wanna do this. And the only thing you see is negative signs, subtraction, money going down, money decreasing, splurging, that's all you see. But when you get somebody like-minded, like, I wanna do this, and this is what I'm going to do to get to that point. What does that mean? I'm saying someone who's in debt, they have a plan, right, to get out of debt, then they plan to save and invest their money, and they plan to take a trip to have some fun. Now, you may think that this is all about saving money and investing. On many of my videos, I tell people, have fun with your money, you only live once, but don't have fun with all your money because then you won't have any money to actually live your life and sustain your life. See, this is the thing. If you believe that you're gonna die young, then you're gonna die old, right? Unless you just off yourself, which I don't condone at all. Please do not. You're much more valuable on this earth to somebody and a lot of people. But this is the point I'm making here. Sustaining your life in order for you to live a longer, healthier life, for friends and family, for travel and fun, for experiences, for your hobbies, or just to chillax, just to relax. Who cares what it's for? But you're not gonna do that if you are bad with your finances. So ladies, men, take a time out of your busy weekend that you plan to party or you're going to a party or you're going to a amusement park, you're going to the movies, you're going out to dinner. Take an hour or two and use the Mint app. Use the YNAB app, Why You Need a Budget app. Use whatever app that's beneficial that you can understand and comprehend 
in order to get your budget together and know what you can spend and know what you shouldn't spend. There's a day coming where you're gonna need some money and you had this video today that you ain't gonna have no money and you wish you would have listened. This is Ross World. I need a kick in my tail. I need a smack in my face and so do you. I'm out.